Hey everyone, I wore a blazer today. <laughs> regretting this choice. Not regretting my decision to be here today. Thank you so much everyone for being here. Good evening to all of you and happy Pride, Nashville. It is my absolute honor to stand here today alongside these pivotal figures in the fight for equity, liberation, and justice. Not to mention we are also on what I would consider to be sacred ground. Fisk University here where a generation of civil rights icons first planted roots of a movement. I'm supposed to be on my way to Minneapolis right now to start a tour tomorrow, but this event really took precedence over a gas station in Iowa lunch. So I'm very happy to be here and not in the middle of Iowa right now, but I will be there tomorrow. Uh, my name is Alana Royale. I am a most of the time touring artist and a sometimes server at Henrietta Red right here in Germantown. As a musician and a restaurant employee, I do know a thing or two about being overworked and underpaid. I know about the financial anxieties of managing my career, my health, my mental well-being, and my mortgage. We are here today to discuss Tennessee minimum wage. Although I don't think you guys are that excited about it. Minimum wage. Minimum. This $7.25 an hour is the legal threshold for which paying your employees, and this has not changed since July of 2009 on a federal level. 2009. How is it that nearly every facet of our lives has changed since 2009 and not once we have made an increase to federal minimum wage? Now I think if you've made it to this rally, I think you've got a clear idea of how this is not only a completely unacceptable statistic for one of the wealthiest nations in, in the world, but this is also going to perpetuate chronic stress on generations of Americans. And I know everyone in this room has felt that chronic stress of what it is to be in America and be grossly underpaid for what yeah. you do. One thing I wanna make clear today is that when we talk wage gap, when we talk wage inequality, this is not simply a one-dimensional issue. When we have this discussion, it is impossible to avoid the racial and gender aspects. Yeah. Women, and especially women of color, are disproportionately affected with this idea that we can make a living in this country for less than $8 an hour. In Tennessee, 36% of workers make $17 or less. When COVID hit and I was slowly, slowly coming to realization that I was not going to be going back on the road or doing any live events for a very long time, I reluctantly started looking for jobs. I, like so many others, was living off of unemployment checks and was able to scrape by only because my mortgage was paused. And I understand that inherently right there, I've got a leg up over so many other people because I was afforded that luxury. I finally resigned myself to a job search and I was absolutely gobsmacked to find that if I had been hired by any major chain retailer, Sephora, Ulta, Old Navy, Walmart, that I would not have been able to pay my bills with a 40 hour work week. This dream that we were sold, it does not work. It is a fallacy and it is time for it to change. tipping system built off the tenets of segregation and racism. Something must change, and just by showing up today, you have decided you are ready to be a part of this change. I deserve better. You deserve better. We all deserve better. Thank you. So I'm asking you today a couple things here. Please, please make sure you are registered to vote. Please show up to the polls when you know you're registered. Please find a way to maintain your own physical and mental health so that you can continue on this fight for a truly fair and just America. Stay informed, stay hydrated, and remember, you can buy a record once and stream it forever. Thank you so much.